Good morning. So today is Monday. Is it June? I think it's June already. Yeah, so it is June and I wanted to show you. I finished my no frills tee. I love the yarn. It is so comfy and soft and nice. I wore it when we went to a parade this weekend. Um, and I also, I had brought my boardwalk hoodie and I worked on finishing the last sleeve and I finished it while I was at the parade. Um, I haven't finished the hoodie. I still need to knit like an eye cord for the lace up in the front and then I need to knit the hood. So I haven't done that yet, but those are the two things I have left on it. And after I finished this sleeve, I actually put it on and wore it because it had been kind of sprinkling and cold. So, but honestly, I felt really nice in just the tea with kind of the cold weather. I think it was something there. Um, but yeah, I finished this and it is so cute and comfy. Um, I'll put like a little video showing it on. Um, I wore this with a black skirt and tall black boots at the parade. I thought it was very cute. <laughs> um, and I guess I'll show you what this looks like. So I can actually like wear it and I did wear it at the parade even though it wasn't like finished. I had, I had grabbed a hoodie to bring but then I actually forgot to just pick it up and bring it to the car with me. Um, so I did end up putting this on like over after I had finished the last sleeve and it will keep it like more in once the lacing is finished and I put on but I feel like the sleeves are a little short but Superwash Merino is notorious for like stretch stretching <laughs> I was about to say stretching <laughs> stretching like with wear so I think it'll stretch out more but I love the yarn it's so cute I love all the variations in the brown color I just think it made it super or like a lot more interesting to knit with than like a solid color so I really like seeing the different colors pass by as I knit so I really like variegated yarn <laughs> We get it, it just makes me it keeps my interest more than if I were to do like a solid color but so this will eventually have a string to lace up and then a hood that I can put on and a couple people are already into the hood in the test knit group um I already weaved in all of the ends that I've done so far as well um and yeah so it seems like really open, but it will have the lacing that'll keep it closed. And then it'll also have like a hood on here. So this is what it looks like. I think it's a really cute pattern. Um, yeah, I think it's really cute. And then this is the No Frills tee. It's very cute. I kind of like it with like a, a short skirt. Not that you can see the end of this. <laughs> yeah, I like wore it with this short black skirt. Of course, there's shorts underneath. Uh, but yeah, I think it, this is a cute outfit. And I really like this top. I think probably short sleeve, I'm gonna sit back down. Short sleeve tops are probably not going to be my favorite thing. I really like this though, like this is great. I love, like this came out perfect. But I think moving forward in the future, I'll probably stick to long sleeves because I just like them. They're more cozy. I like the feeling of like sleeves that go all the way down to like my hands. So I don't know if I, I probably won't knit any more tees. I really like sweaters and I like the hoodie. Oh, and I want to revise something. When I first got the Wool of the Andes 
yarn. I like mentioned how it was, it feels kind of rough in comparison to like the nice merino and nylon. It's like smooth and soft, but actually worn on, it doesn't bother me at all. It didn't bother me like knitting it. It's just, it doesn't feel like super soft to the touch like some other yarns, but as a finished product, it's great. And it's going to be, I think, a nice durable like sweater. I actually want to, I would love to order the 20 pack of the Wool of the Andes right here. <laughs> I'd love to order the 20 pack of the Wool of the Andes and just make a bunch of thick sweaters with it because I really, I really like it. I like it a lot more than I thought I would. Um, so I would definitely use Wool of the Andes again. It felt really nice on when I wear this, um, nice and warm. And it has like, when you like squish it, there's like a really pleasant squishiness to the fabric. I like the feel of it. <laughs> I thought I would prefer like super soft yarn, like, I don't know, like these are really soft and smooth, but like, I really like this. I think it makes nice, cozy, thick sweaters. I really want to make another like sweater out of this. And I might just use like the no frills sweater pattern. And instead of using the thin yarn, just use wool of the Andes, even though it's going to be like a bigger gauge, I'll go up the size sizes and needles and knit the pattern with bigger yarn and I think that would make a nice sweater so I do need to finish the hood and I need to learn how to do eye cord because I've never done that before but I think I could figure it out I'm not I don't think that's going to keep me from being able to finish this test knit I still have like till just a little bit before the end of the month to finish this so um they gave like 10 weeks to finish it, which I think is plenty of time. Um, I don't know if I'll do any more test knitting. I, I only want to sign up for test knits that I feel like I'm really interested in the pattern. I had never knitted a hoodie before, so I wanted a knit hoodie. So I signed up for the um, Thorsten Knits test knit for this, and I do really like it. I think I will definitely get a lot of wear out of it, especially when it gets more into fall. I'm super excited for fall. As you can see with like the purple, like Halloween fall. I don't know what sweater colors I want to knit yet. I really do want to knit the, what is it? The Astraeus sweater. Oh yeah, and I forgot to ship to tell you I started my first color work project so I'm doing the Alaska hat and I've all I just got into the um the start of the color work so when I was at the parade I finished this sleeve and then I put this on to wear <laughs> and then I brought this stuff with me to cast on the Alaska hat um and then I started it so I'm gonna show you what it looks like so far Okay, so for my Alaska hat, I'm using these two colors. Um, it's a green, sorry, it's kind of a mess, but I'm, I dyed this green and then I tried to dye a gray and then the gray dye that I used apparently had brown in it because it turned out to be like a gray brown variegated yarn, which is fine. I'm still obviously using it. Um, I like the color combination still. But I am into, on the color chart, I'm on line four. <laughs> and you can't see it very well, but I did the ribbing and then I just barely started the color work. Yeah, it's actually, it's not that easy to see but like I did start in the color work and on the inside it looks like this anyway so this is my first color work knitting project yeah and it's not like difficult at all you just kind of pick up whichever color you're using for the little stitch that you're doing and it'll eventually make some trees so I'm super excited about that 
And my plan is I want to knit a bunch of the Alaska hats in very various um, color schemes. And I thought it would be good Christmas presents. So I want to get started on doing some Christmas presents now. That way I can hopefully get quite a few done by Christmas. <laughs> I know it's, it's June. Yes, it's June. <laughs> And I'm getting, I'm thinking about the Christmas presents because if you wait till like closer to Christmas, you're not going to get it done in time. So you have to start like thinking ahead. And if I want to knit a decent amount of Christmas presents for family, I have to get started now. And um, this one might be mine or I be, I want, I want like a really nice like hat to wear when it's cold because I get cold a lot. Um, and yeah, I just want like a nice beanie that I knit. So I don't know if this will end up being mine or if I'll end up switching it out and keeping a different color scheme, but I love this green. It's so beautiful. And yes, I did dye these colors, so I really like it. <laughs> anyway, so that's what's going on so far. Um, so I finished the sleeve of the boardwalk hoodie that I was working on. So both sleeves are done. I have two more things that I need to finish on that. I finished my no frills tee, which I do really love how it turned out. And I like having a tee, but I think moving in forward in the future, unless it's like a test knit that I'm interested in or something, I'll probably just stick to long sleeves. <laughs> I just like the feel of them more, even though I do really like this. Like there's nothing wrong with it. I just prefer sleeves. Um, yeah, and then, so I started my first color work project finishing up rows, getting, I've been done a lot of progress on the boardwalk hoodie. I don't know what, I have like sweaters and stuff that I want to make, but um, for the Estrella sweater, I might not work at it on the same time that I'm doing this one because um, I feel like I have to pay attention a lot for the color work and look at the chart while I'm knitting it. So I'm thinking maybe if I do start another project, it wouldn't be one that I have to pay so much attention to. Maybe something a little bit more easy. I don't know. I also really want a Weasley sweater. <laughs> I wanted my own Weasley sweater, and that's actually what I was originally thinking of using uh, this wool of the Andes for. Like a nice, thick, Christmassy, because I've always wanted a Weasley sweater, and I have yet to have one. I've wanted one ever since I was like in probably third grade <laughs> and I am 30, 32, I think. Yeah, I'm 32 now. Yeah, I turned 32 in March. So, oh, I also trimmed my hair. I just did it myself uh, because kind of my ends were a little bit scraggly and split ends. Um, so, yeah, I trimmed my hair. So it's not quite as long right now but it'll go back out okay so every year I always wish that I planted my own little pumpkin patch so I could have my own pumpkins and this year I planted like 10 different types of pumpkins in little pots and most of them have sprouted and they're getting really big and we're getting an area ready to plant them so I might show you my little start of my garden <laughs> I'm really excited to have my own pumpkin patch because like I've been wanting to have my own own pumpkin that own pumpkin patch for years and years and every year I'm like oh I'm gonna plant my own pumpkins but then by the time I think about it it's too late to plant them to get the hat pumpkins for Halloween and like so I'm gonna have a pumpkin patch this year our tomatoes are getting huge they're almost to the top of this thing we have it covered because it gets really hot here and we don't want our plants to get fried. We have little tomatoes already started. So this is our little garden. There's some lettuce there. <laughs> and um, we got a bunch of potting soil that we're going to put in here. And it's going to be, I'm going to put the biggest pumpkin plants in here. After we finish filling this up, we got more potting soil this uh weekend. All right. Anyway, so this is where some of 
the pumpkin plants will be going and I'm going to continue this all the way down over here and I want to have all along here where we plant our pumpkins but we need to put up more wood and stuff but this is the start this is the start of my pumpkin patch where I'll plant some and then we'll keep working on this area okay I'm back I made a list of all of the things that I want to knit currently I'm gonna probably have to flip this so because in the camera it looks like it's flipped the wrong way <laughs> but um, I, be, I want a Weasley sweater. I want to make the Starry Night socks, the Starry Night hat, the Estrella sweater, a green sweater, just that's green. <laughs> I changed by the way because uh, I'm going to be doing like yard work and gardening today. So I didn't want to get or like mess up my no frills tee. So that's why I changed. So I've changed into a t-shirt and jeans because... I don't want to wear my like knitted things while I'm doing yard work stuff. Anyways, so um, I want a green sweater. I want a fall sweater that's like orange. I'm not really specific on that yet, but I know I want something orange pumpkin-y. A Hufflepuff sweater. The Alaska hat, which I've already started. And then I also want to make the Alaska sweater because I think it's super cute. Actually, maybe the Alaska sweater would be a good fall project I don't know um but anyways I did decide on what I want to work on next the thing that brought me the most joy is the Weasley sweater so I'm gonna dye my the wool of the Andes yarn that I have I'm gonna dye it and I want it to be to look kind of like Ron Weasley's sweater um so so I'm gonna attempt to dye the yarn in like a maroony red. I'm probably gonna have to dye it a couple times because I'm gonna dye it a little bit at a time because I want to be really careful and get the right color. So that's <laughs> what I really, what I think just I brought me the most joy. So that's what I want to make. So one of these is going to be dyed in like a yellowy orange. I'm gonna try to achieve kind of a turmeric -y color. Like something between yellow and orange um, for that. So one of these will be that. And then the rest of these, I think, one, two, three, four. I want it to be oversized as well. So I'm going to dye the other four the ready maroon color. So I might start with maybe the letter color. And I'm also going to be plotting out the color work for the K because my name is Kitty. So I'm going to do, I almost want to do an R for the Ron Weasley sweater, but then I'm like, I should probably just do the letter of my name, <laughs> even though I'm tempted to do an R for Ron Weasley. I think I'll do a K though. I think I might start off just dyeing the one in the yellowy orange color and then I'll work on the red later. All right, let's dye some yarn. So I put a reusable zip tie on this to help keep things from, you know, tangling. I un, or I took off the label of this Wool of the Andes yarn, and now I'm going to get it soaked. And I am wanting this all to be, like, I'm fine if there's a variation in it, but I want it to at least be tonal of, like, the same color. So, I put a lot of water in here so that the color can move around. Just gonna let water soak in. And I'm going to get the first color ready for my Weasley sweater. I did think about doing different colors for my Weasley sweater. I considered blue, green, but the heart wants what the heart wants, and the heart wants the Weasley sweater to look like Ron Weasley sweater, so I'm going to stick with, like, I need to try to make a maroony red color. That is what my heart desires. 
So, um, I don't remember if I put vinegar in here or not, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it now, just in case I didn't. I don't think it hurts to have extra vinegar. Um, all right. Now, once I have the dye in there, I won't be putting my hands in it. I have a handy dandy spoonula spatula thing that I decided to dedicate to dyeing. So I'm just gonna touch it with this. All right, so I'm gonna start off with some yellow. All right, and I don't want it to strike like any one particular area super fast. So I wanna spread the color around. Whoops, shouldn't probably splash too much. Maybe I should have diluted it with a, in a cup of water or something. Oh well. Okay. Okay, so in my other like little bins, I can only dye like one or two uh, skeins at a time. So I got like a big tub <laughs> and I just got the four for the main body of the Weasley sweater in this um, because I want to dye them all at the same time so that they are all about the same color. So I put warm water in here and vinegar and I'm thinking of mixing this red with this red and then maybe some brown to get a maroon. So we'll see. I'm a little nervous to pour this, but okay. So I did a cap full of both reds and the brown and then just a touch of purple. And I'm hoping this works. Actually, I should probably set my phone up on a tripod so that I can use the spatula and move it around while I pour it in. Okay, so mixing those two reds plus a brown and a little bit of purple, I might have just made the perfect maroon. So I'm just gonna let it sit here for a little bit and let all of that color soak in and we'll see what we've got. Okay, good morning. It is currently Tuesday and I, as I listen to like some like crime videos, like they tell stories of like crimes and stuff that happens. I don't remember the name of what I was listening to, but um, I looked up how to make an I-cord drawstring for the boardwalk hoodie and I've started it and it's actually pretty easy. So I like cast on three stitches and then I knit the first three like regular you use double pointed needles and then when you finish the one row you push it back and you knit it kind of from the wrong end like of a typical knitting so you like insert the needle even though the yarn is coming from the opposite end and you just knit it like that and just go across and knit all three now this is my first time doing an eye cord so it's probably not perfect but you basically knit all three like that push it back again and you just keep repeating it. So you kind of like knit like normal, except you're like making sure the 
working yarn is like on the wrong side of the project, sort of. And that's pretty, it's pretty easy. So that's good. <laughs> I wasn't sure what an eye cord was, but now I have figured it out. Well, I learned from a YouTube video, so <laughs> there we go. And this is what my cord looks like so far. It's like, I don't think it's perfect, but if you kind of stretch it, it helps when you have like a loose stitch, like, I don't know, it's kind of loose, I kind of stretch it. I mean, it's not going to be perfect. <laughs> Anyways, I know how to do eye cord now. <laughs> okay, I'm also going to update you on the beanie that I started, which is the, like, Alaska hat. It's my first color work project ever. And I believe I'm on row 12 on the pattern that I printed out. I circled the number that I was on when I last left off because I didn't want to get confused. So I believe it was row 12 that I'm on. And this is what the color work looks like so far. Um, it kind of looks jumbly, like you can't see the full picture yet, but hopefully, hopefully I'm doing everything correctly and it ends up looking like trees. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really like these colors. Kind of gives me Slytherin vibes, which I'm not mad at. I just took a shower, so... I haven't really brushed my hair yet. Uh, it, I've been just letting it like air dry. Yeah, it's pretty dry now. Um, I also hung up the yarn that I dyed for my Ron Weasley or my Weasley sweater. And it's been drying outside. I hung it up in the orange trees. Um, it might be dry by now. I should check it. All right, it looks like the yarn is dry. Uh, the maroon almost looks a little fady. I'm contemplating on if I should add a little bit more color on it. Might want it a little darker. Hmm. I think the orange is really good. It's nice and vibrant. I am thinking I might dye the maroon again. All right, good morning. Um, sorry if I haven't filmed much this week, but we had some trouble with one of our foster kittens. He wasn't doing well, and he ended up not making it. We spent all day with him at the vet on Saturday. Like, we were literally there <laughs> um, since when the vet opened till like maybe 30 minutes before they closed. And then on Sunday, he started having seizures and it was not good. So we brought him to our local humane society so that they could help him pass peacefully and stop suffering. So it's been a week. <laughs> we had very long days trying to help him, but anyways, I have, you can see some of our other foster kittens running around. They're so cute. Um, anyways, updates for the Alaska hat. I believe I am on row 15 of the color work pattern. It's hard to see, but yeah, I'm on row 15 of the color work pattern. Um, I worked on this a little bit when we were at the vet, but I was kind of too worried to, I did like maybe two rows, <laughs> but I was kind of but like worried and stuff, so I didn't get a whole lot done uh, knitting. Um, I did dye yarn to make a Weasley sweater. I'm almost thinking that I do want to do, oh hi baby, an R for Ron. So it's more like a fangirly sweater. I want it to be oversized and big and... Yeah, I'm thinking of it being, I'm thinking of doing it, going ahead and doing it as kind of like a fangirl Rotten Weasley sweater instead of doing like a K of my name. 
And then maybe sometime later I could do a Weasley sweater version with my first letter of my name, a K. Um, so that's kind of what I'm thinking right now. Hi, baby. You want to cuddle? What is he? Do you want to come over here to Alpaca? Oh, she, Alpaca is a little sneezy. He's <laughs> with the boardwalk hoodie. And oh, yeah. Speaking of the boardwalk hoodie, it's right there, and I'm almost done with it. I'm on the hood. I'm wearing the tee, the no frills tee that I knitted underneath the dress that I finished, and I'll put a clip of what the dress looks like on me standing up uh, at the end of this, I guess. <laughs> um, hi, babies. Um, but, hey, you want to come here, sweetie? Oh, sorry. Come here now. You cuddle on my lap. That's a good boy. Okay. So, and then for the test knitting, the, mm, the boardwalk hoodie, um, I almost said no frills. Anyways, I'm on the hood. I'm almost done with, okay, so starting right here is the hood. Um, I'm almost, this is almost 10 inches long. And when it is 10 inches long, I can um, do the next part. I haven't really read ahead on what the next part is, but I know that after this is 10 inches long, I'm supposed, to, oh goodness, I'm supposed to um, do the next thing, which I'll have to see what it is. Anyways, I think that's everything I've been working on, right? I dyed yarn for a Ron Weasley sweater. Um, there is a vintage pattern that I want in it. So like, uh, uh, I think it's from the 1950s, possibly. So I might, I don't know if I'll do that more of like how I've been doing videos where I just kind of been showing my progress, kind of like a blog, or if I want to just do it as it's one video in itself of knitting the whole thing. Um, but that's, I'm, I'm, I've been looking at some vintage patterns and there's one I think would be really nice to wear with summer dresses. Um, so that's something I'm thinking about. Anyways, it is currently Tuesday. Yeah, it's Tuesday. Um, I didn't really do any filming yesterday because I didn't feel like it. Um, but look how bright and happy this is. <laughs> Anyways, I think these colors turned out really perfect. Like, this definitely looks like a Weasley sweater. Anyways, I think that's, that's basically it for now. I might wrap up this video, edit it, and post it. Um, so right here, let me see which one I'm, let me see your face. This is the girl. Um, she has a little bit of a rounder face, so. This is, um, Floofer. And then we have the male, who is Fluffer. <laughs> and then this is Alpaca. And it was Alpaca's brother, Mohair, that we lost this week. I know. You're a good boy. <laughs> Anyways. So I guess this is going to be it. I'm going to wrap up this video. So... Thank you for joining me, and I hope you have a good day. Okay, bye.